Okay, I am going to show you how with a hose and some strapping tape, this is a galvanized hanger strap, two items you need to hook up your drill press with dust collection or your hinging station. Okay, so enjoy the video. Thank you. All right, this video is about my drill, uh, my, my boring machine, hinging machine setup with the dust collector. Um, mainly I wanted to show the dust collection and how I did that. It, I, I love it, it was simple. As you can see up there, over here, all I did was connect a four inch hose to a gate, okay, and I've used a, uh, here, I'll bring this over here. I used a strap just to hold it down. You want to be as close as possible to the area that you're drilling, and it's super effective. Here, you shall see in a second. All right. Let's turn it on. I'll turn it on, I don't think you can see, but here, I'll move this a little this way. I have a uh, switch from my dust collector. So that's on. Go over here and zoom in. my table saw and in the future I'm gonna put up a uh, one down to the actual blade but I don't have that right now it just goes down and underneath but okay so it even works when I have this other gate for my chop saw when I open this gate down there with the other gate open it's not as good but it's damn still works pretty good I'm pretty happy with that yeah so. so I was very happy with how that turned out using just a simple four inch hose Forget all the weird widgets or, I don't know, make some 3D printed scoop or whatever. It works just like it is. Just simple. Nothing complicated. Things don't have to be complicated. Um, there you go. You can make yourself, uh, I don't know, some sort of game. All right. That's all for now. Thank you. So there you go. That's how you... There you go. That's how easy it is put dust collection at your drill press or your hinge boring station. Uh, all you need again is some galvanized steel strap and uh, some hose. All right, that's all you need. So get to it and happy woodchucking. <laughs>